Hey what's up people welcome to e-learning info IT so this is the second video of this series tidy excel and active response installation so that last video we have covered that couple of things related to the tie what that and what that component uh, what that requirement for that as a software wise so we have discussed and create the virtual machine in my lab and uh, mount that iso image so that is done the server is rebooted and uh, uh, basically that shut down now now i'm going to start the configuration of the tie okay so this is also a customized linux operating system so don't expect that all linux command will run on that okay and now is that license agreement so yes uh, just put just type e and and y to proceed yeah put that root password so my favorite password at mini at the rate one two three i'm always keep it okay and why uh, put that account name so i'm putting that admin uh, real name is admin okay you can use that uh, same root password as well on that part and yes so it's uh, showing like that uh, nick details so we have only one internet card because yeah uh, it's only one required for that and so i'm click uh, place the n you see that n is mentioned select the interface yeah and is configuration uh, that automatic uh, basically the dscp or manual obviously the server is be, uh, not in the dscp obviously manual yeah so you have to select the m and uh, come to that uh, enter and put that ip address for the tie server so i am planning to put that ip address 192.168.0.190 uh, okay not 190 uh, 91 is the okay uh, guys give me one second uh, let me check if this ip is available or not zero dot ninety one because ninety is that EPS server. Yeah, it's uh, no one using. Okay, and that's okay. subnet mark is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Gateway zero dot one. And DNS address is 192.168.0. Dot, uh, sorry, that 19 because my ta my EPO server, this is my EPO server, also a domain controller. Okay. Okay, this is my also the uh, domain controller. That's why uh, you see this. The McAfee. This is the my DNS and that active active directory also hosted in this server. Okay, so this is my also that uh, DNS and AD server. So that's why I'm putting that I uh, that DNS address of my EPO. If you have something different DNS or something, then you have to put your DNS. And apart from this. I'm putting that one public DNS okay but if you are doing in your production environment don't put that public DNS okay because your DNS have a internet access my DNS for that internal access that's why and press Y put the tie server host name so I'm putting that name tie server and the domain is uatdc.com this is my domain and press y and you got if you have the time server 
okay then you have to put that uh, like fqdn either you can use the ip address but i don't have so uh, you have uh, I, i'm going to remove that and why guys you know during the time installation there is the uh, during the installation i am telling you if your extension compatibility or required extension is not deployed then you can face the issue either network side okay if the same vlan that no problem same subnet no problem but uh, maybe uh, if something different then uh, the network problem or something else because this is the straightforward activity if your extension is successfully checked in that required and proper extension there is no problem okay now i have to put my epo ip address details okay so 192.168.0.19 my uh, epo ip address i show you then ns lookup okay mcafi epo dot uatdc.com if you see this that port 8443 with that epo console is running okay ns lookup with this so yes even that boom 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 host name okay mcafi epo so that ip address is uh, 198160 uh, 192.168.0.19 so i am going to configure in here yeah the port uh, port uh, requirement network port should be open in that you know that 8081 from that epo to your tai server and that 80 uh, 8443 should be open from that your tai to epo server make sure okay now that account uh, this is the user account uh, i'm i'm putting that admin it is the testing if you are uh, doing this activity in your production side make sure you have to create the dedicated one of the service account okay for the integration part and give that admin privilege and required privilege basically but yeah you have to use this dedicated account for these are that activity this is the best practice okay and press y uh yeah this is the certificate okay that my uh, you see that uh, is successfully communicate with that my epo server that's why it's come to that epo server certificate details okay is authenticating so yeah i'm proceeding y if your side like you not checked in the extension properly and required extension or might be some network issue that that case you can face the issue on that part yeah this is the very important part guys so see this server we are performing as a dxl broker as a tai server or as a mar server so this is the basically role if you select the y y y that mean you selected okay i press the y and proceed if you don't want the mar you have to set as a no that mean n okay and if you uh, if you are planning to dedicated server so yeah that like uh, you create the dxl server only so you can use this image during that this selection you have to select the dxl broker only y and other remaining two parts is press no and no so that case is that the dxl server only will deploy on that okay not tie and mark so again it takes time okay now is uh okay guys so lot of thing yeah now the tie handshake is starting okay let's check on the tpo side uh, that server only okay let's click to apply okay the xl broker is uh, automatically apply okay but the tie tag is not applied 
So I'm going to apply this tag, apply tag of the Thai server and apply tag the mar as well because this server also act as okay that mar tag will apply later on uh, as of now tie dxl is okay and let's wait for a couple of minutes for you know the tie handshake once it done okay guys so now the tie handshake is successfully done I see that when I when the tie server is taking much time now you have to check your EPO side is the tie tag is successful apply or not okay now see that installation is successful completed okay I'm going to log in with in my tie server okay guys so that most important point is root so root account by default is disabled for SSH so you can't take the putty directly with the root account if you want to access it uh, from okay, put it. so I, I show you something okay zero dot uh, what I think 91 right accept it okay it's showing as a login root i'm putting the right password but it not allow okay uh, the security reasons okay so you can enable it as a manually and apart from this if you want to access that uh, root account okay oh hold on uh, 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 where is that Any session okay 0 0.91 and uh, that port is the same okay is saying that uh, uh, is saying login as well. okay so i'm going to log in with that admin and putting that admin password is hope you remember we create during the installation we create that account admin account i'm logging in this account have very limited permission but yeah switch put that root password now you log in as a root okay so yeah the tie server installation is successfully done let's check on that epo side send one wake up okay that 50 and the current time is the 52 uh, okay and cd not opt slash mcafee mm -mm -mm. mcafee and uh, the agent and the bin and uh, cmd okay that hyphen i oh sorry hyphen e hyphen p and hyphen c Let's check on the tie topology. So go to that uh, the server setting, guys. I think so. Okay, the tie topology. The primary tie server is not set. Basically unassigned. So if you have multiple tie server, that is okay. You have to set as a primary and secondary. If you have only one tie server, you have to set as a primary only. Okay. So I am going to set as a primary select uh, primary and uh, reputation search and save it so it, it will take uh, less than one minute or at least the five minutes okay and apart from this these are the you know that configuration virus total integration api key and all uh, i will i will show you that later on and apart from this is the DXL topology so I have only uh, the one DXL which is already configured if you have multiple DXL then you have to create the you know you have to create the hub and configure the hub what the so basically that next coming up video I will also create the uh, secondary DXL server and create the hub 
and assign the DXL broker and you know that uh, segregate the load balancing of the DXL so you know this series will get the lot of video related to that okay and uh, I don't think so anything else apart from this yeah the tie server the DXL data exchange layer is yeah this one okay yeah and the tie reputation sections is it should be successfully open now what unable to communicate to type server Okay, operator mode. Uh, 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 operator service that set the tie reputation topic. Verify the tie service of our topic. Oh, seriously. Hold on. Uh, okay, guys, let me check. The tie service is communicated. Why uh, right, it's showing like this? Uh, okay. So. Mm, the tie server setting. yeah now is okay so definitely we will not see that similar error again yeah <laughs> okay so basically you know we set as an assignment uh, maybe not complete on that time that's why it's showing that error so you have to wait at least couple of minutes i'm doing that fastly because the time the video time is that 18 minutes seriously if i'm editing or something like that it's come to that 16 minutes only it's also very large Okay, so I hope you understand uh, how to install and how to configure it. And uh, that second most important part is validations. If you are going for that, uh, the tie server installation configuration, the validate is very important with the tie topology and the data action layer fabric and the tie reputation side. And make sure the assignment is that, uh, you know, the operation mode should be set according to your server primary or secondary okay i have only one tie server that why i set is that primary if i have that multiple i will set as a secondary and next okay so and also i'll check you uh, i'll show you that health status of that come on Okay, guys. So uh, that health status and other things we'll check later on. Uh, okay, that all looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be because I I'm not configured it yet in my EPS server. I show you where uh, in the server setting in that I I I know that. Okay, but uh, as of now I I'm not configured it. That's why it's showing. So just ignore this part. Uh, we'll configure it later on. I will uh, show you as a green like this configure that properly so i hope you like this video please subscribe my channel for the next coming video okay and guys one more thing if you interested some topic okay with that uh, mcafee product so please put on that comments have a good day bye bye